Welcome to Computex 2019. Here we are at Corsair's booth, and they have also acquired Elgato, if you guys didn't know. So with that, they can now improve the Elgato products just as much as the Corsair products have been innovating and all that goodness. But right here, they've got a streaming service. Now, you've seen the Stream Deck. So going from six buttons to 15 buttons and now to 32 buttons, which was recently released on the market. That's coming in around 250 uh, USD and it's going to be released in Australia soon. But right here, they've got the service now. So if you can't afford the Stream Deck, then they have a subscription service where the first three days is free to trial out. If you like it, you can then subscribe for $3 a month or $25 a year. And of course, with those costs, it's a lot cheaper than the Stream Deck itself. And then you can install it on a tablet, currently Apple iOS only, but they are hearing feedback and people are loving it to the point where they may introduce it to Android very soon. But besides the Stream Deck mobile service, what is going on here at the Corsair booth? Let's find out. And here is the main product coming out from Corsair at Computex 2019. I'm joined by Ross. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, so Ross is an Aussie as well, which makes things even better. Just uh, going through the booth, relaxed, checking out all the products. And right beside us, we have these new Hydro X, pretty much a whole lineup of new products, right? Where I believe starting off with the GPU blocks, they're covering all the RTX cards as well as covering Vega 56 and 64. And on top of that, you've got AM4 support, TR4 support, Z390 on Intel's side, as well as X299. But tell us a little bit more about these coolers and what makes them so special, especially in terms of the pump and reservoir, for example. Yeah, so um, we're really proud of all the stuff that we're bringing to market with Hydro X. Uh, we're covering all of the uh, most popular graphics cards and sockets. And on top of that, we're bringing like our you know, Corsair style and flair. We've got RGB goodness. It's all controlled with our IQ software. So like, for example, with these GPU blocks, you can see they've got awesome RGB uh, just like lighting up the whole thing that you can see throughout it. It's got these per like beautiful flow indicators as well, so you can watch that fluid and your coolant moving through it to make sure that your pump's working properly. And on the note of that pump here with the XD5 pump res combo, we've decided to go with the D5 pump because you know it's fantastic reliability, it's really popular, and it just it has a great reputation. And we've kind of adapted it and put it into this reservoir pump combo. And the advantage that we have as well is that with our integrated IQ software you can monitor your cooling temperatures, uh, the temperature of the liquid that's going through the loop, and you can adjust fan curves, pump speed, all that kind of stuff automatically through IQ in accordance with you know, the kind of performance you want and how hot you want your coolant to be. So it's pretty much top down. Everything's custom. It's got the RGB bling. But we'll move over now to the other computer where they've actually got the configurator service too. So you can pretty much plan out a whole custom water loop before you even purchase anything, right? Yeah, so with our new Corsair configurator, we've actually got this uh, service that's available on our website where you can put in you know, what gear you have, what case you have, um, input your graphics card, what motherboard you have, and it will give you a recommendation on which parts uh, that you can buy from our Hydro X lineup. So here you can see we've got the RTX uh, 1080, uh, 2080 Ti uh, founders uh, block, and uh, you just put that in. You just say which parts that you're looking for, and it uh, helps configure where you can put your radiators, where you can put the reservoir, what fans you can use. So it's a really useful tool that you can use to help plan your Hydro X build. And once it's done, uh, you can find a place um, and it'll just say find me a retailer and you can print out a PDF and you can find where it's being sold near you and you can take them that PDF and they'll sell you all those parts. And if you're in Australia, the retailers that will stock the Hydro X parts will be coming from Quarter 3 and they are M-Wave and also Scorp Tech. But going through the most important parts in this build, you can essentially put together a soft tubing or a hard tubing loop. But in terms of the radiators, they've got 120 up to 360, but then they've got in different lines, 140 all the way up to the magical number 420. But on top of that, if you need even more cooling in a push and pull configuration, then they've got the XR7 480 mil. This is essentially what you'd know as a dual slot coming in with 50 mil thickness. And they've also got a 360 mil version of this. So they have everything covered in terms of the pumps, the radiators and the blocks. They've got the XC7 RGB, they got the XC9. And then for the SKUs on the GPU water blocks, as we said before, we've got Vega 56 and 64 being covered, but these are under the XG7 RGB block logo, and they'll have the 20 series for the RTX cards. But with the CPU blocks, 
they are going with backwards support for 2066 on X79 and X99, but I'm told that maybe X58 is out of the question, but not to worry. I'm definitely going to be testing that for you guys and seeing if I can jerry-rig something. But in the meantime, they've also got coolants coming to the market as well, the XL5 stuff. I'm told this is really good, long-lasting, and you also won't have to worry about cleaning out your loop as much as you should, I guess, because in some loops you have to clean them out every three to six months. I'm told these will be lasting about 12 months, really, before you have to worry about cleaning them. So that's a really good thing if you're into custom water looping, especially if it's your first loop. So they've got the coolant coming, they've got the soft tubing, they've got the hard tubing, and in terms of that tubing, they've got 12 and 14 mil thickness, as well as offering all their own custom fittings. So Corsair have custom water cooling down pat in 2019. I look forward to giving you guys a custom water cooled rig on the channel over at Tech Yeah City when I get back from Computex. And with that aside, I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. If you are digging this and what Corsair's got on display here, be sure to hit that like button. Also, let us know in the comments section below what you think of this whole new product range from Corsair. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.